Well, my friends over at Ace Mark's Shoes uh, decided to send me a fun little challenge here. So they sent me something uh, a little tough. But that's all right. We're going we're gonna to get it done. We're going to make something out of this. So starting with the cotton ball and the acetone. As always, we're going to strip some of this rough old finish off. And we're going to see what we got going on underneath here. somewhere Much is coming off there. It's quite a bit. Well, you can see it is indeed working. This is going to work. It's gonna happen. We're gonna make these into something beautiful. All right, so we've got these Ace Mark shoes both fully stripped. We're ready to add some color. So I'm going to be using the Fibings Yellow. I almost always will start with a lighter color to begin, so yellow, beige, uh, something, something light, and you kind of build the layers on top of that. For this, I'm going to do more of a, a modeled museum patina and so for something like this do kind of little splotches of 
yellow, so I'm not doing the streaks of color. Just kind of a, a random pattern of, of splotches. And then we'll build just layer upon layer. So we'll do some yellow for a bit, and then maybe I'll add some beige and tan. So just kind of do this dappled building of, of layers, something like this. We'll do the same on the other. I've mixed in beige instead of the yellow. It's a similar color, but it's going to be slightly different. It's the same thing, I'm just going to dab it on different areas. Some of it will overlap the yellow, some of it will be on its own. A totally unique spot. Yeah, no rules, just, uh, just kind of go. And over time, it'll, uh, it'll build up the, the layers of color and start to, start to look like something good. So I know it looks a little, a little wild at the moment, a little crazy, but, uh, yeah, I think in the end, it'll turn out nice. So we did yellow, added some beige, probably go to a tan. And then we'll go to a mid-brown after that. So I changed my mind. I actually skipped the tan. And I'm going with fibings again. And with their light brown. So, you can kind of see where we're going with this, and again, it's just going to be layer upon layer, so I'm probably going to pause it here. Probably not going to show all the layers. We'll probably skip ahead to where we've gotten a few already on there. I've added a little bit of uh, mid-brown now, and I'm also going to add a little bit to the suede itself. So this is with a really, really extremely dry brush. And just kind of lightly can add a little bit of color to the suede as well. Where it was just kind of looking a little dingy. This is just going to give a little, just a richer color overall to it. It's already got a little bit of darkening along here. And I'm probably going to add even a little bit uh, darker along there and accent uh, some of the suede too. But that is just a little bit nicer uh, 
color to that suede now. All right, so feeling like I'm pretty much done with the dye work on this pair. So now it's time to rehydrate the leather. So I like to use Saphir Renovateur. And a couple things. One, it's going to rehydrate the leather. And two, it is going to remove some of the dried dye that remains on the surface. So whatever didn't penetrate into the leather, this will remove it. Now sometimes after this step, we'll discover that we are indeed done with the dye work. And sometimes after this step, after it removes the dry dye, I see that eh, I really need to do some more. So we're going to rehydrate this and also notice just how the, the color really comes out so much nicer after you do this. So it's, it brings out the color here. Here it's going to be a little bit dull still. Get another little dab. It kind of brings out what the, what the true color is going to be. I feel like we are nearing completion on these. I've rehydrated the leather, used Saphir Renovateur, and now I'm gonna look at putting a little bit of shine. Got my handy dandy uh, water dispenser. This was from a shoe care shop. They've been great to work with. And also I like this High Shine by Pure Polish. Also uh, excellent product and uh, excellent company. So, get a little bit of polish, dab of water, and just start adding a little bit of wax on this toe cap. You will find that a little bit of dye comes off uh, when you do this. That's fine, that's normal, that's expected, that's not a problem. little layer on this guy, go over to the other one. Now, I've said it before in the the videos I'm not going to film the entire process because honestly I just don't have the storage space I mean literally we could be looking at uh, a 40 minute to an hour long uh, video at that point I'm using my phone and I really literally just do not have uh, the storage to, to do all that and uploading it would take like three days it would just be a whole mess so do short clips but this is you know just a repeat of this same process a dab of water dab of wax and uh, buffing it on there. And you do this until um, the layers of the wax have built up over the pores in the leather and that's when it's going to really start to mirror shine up. I typically do this uh, you know circular motions for a number of layers and then when it starts to get a really high shine I'll do this forward or to front to back uh, high speed buff at the very end. That's going to be with a separate section of the cloth, a new fresh area of cloth without wax and a drop of water. We're starting to get a pretty good shine on these so far. So I'm going to show you just kind of the finishing step that I generally will do is I have liked to use the High Shine Chamois. And this is actually from Hanger Project. Uh, and this thing's worked great. A little dab of water, get some of the excess off, and do a front to back kind of high speed buff. So again, when I was applying the wax, that was in circular motions. And this last high speed buff is the front to back motion, not circular motions. Pretty light pressure too. Not pushing down on it much at all. And typically that that mirror really start to to come out at the end here. When you do that.
And at this point, well, I think we need to just lace them up and uh, they're ready to wear. Hope you enjoyed uh, seeing some of the work.